everyone! My name is Madeline Ivey and I am the Assistant Director for Children and Family Ministry at St. Michael and All Angels Episcopal Church. And today, I am here to tell you another story about God's Son, Jesus. Well, today's story may be perhaps the most important story about Jesus. Possibly even the most important story in the whole Bible. For you see, the people in today's story receive a great surprise when they discover that something truly amazing has happened. Our story from God's Word, the Bible today, comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, and it begins here in verse 1 and goes all the way to right here with verse 10. This is a story from God's Word, the Bible. Now Jesus had died, and his body had been laid in a tomb that was cut out of rock. A large stone had been rolled across the entrance to the tomb. Now, the Pharisees, as well as the chief priests, they had been worried about Jesus' disciples getting into Jesus' tomb and stealing Jesus' body and then telling everybody that Jesus had come back to life. The Pharisees and the chief priests didn't want that to happen. So they went to Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate was the Roman governor. The Pharisees and the chief priests asked Pilate for permission to put Roman soldiers in front of the tomb in order to guard it. Pilate gave his permission. And so, Roman soldiers were put in front of the tomb. And so, with the Roman soldiers there guarding the tomb, as well as the large stone covering the opening to the tomb, the Pharisees and the chief priests believed that no one would be able to get into the tomb where Jesus' body was. Now, the next day was the first day of the week. At dawn, Mary Magdalene, as well as another woman named Mary, who was the mother of James, they went to go look at Jesus' tomb. Well, as the women were getting near to the tomb, a strong earthquake happened. The ground began to shake as an angel from heaven came down. The angel of the Lord went to Jesus' tomb. The angel rolled back the stone from the entrance to the tomb. And then the angel of the Lord went and he sat on the stone. The angel was shining as bright as lightning and his clothes were white as snow. Well, the Roman soldiers, they saw the angel of the Lord and they were so afraid of the angel that they shook with fear. The guards fell to the ground and they looked as if they were dead. Now, Mary Magdalene, as well as Mary, the mother of James, they also saw the angel of the Lord. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus the one who was crucified and who died on a cross. Well, he is not here. He has risen from the dead, just as he said he would. Come and look where his body was. 
Then go quickly and tell Jesus' disciples. Say to them, Jesus has come back to life and he is going to Galilee. Go to Galilee and you will find him there. Then the angel of the Lord finished by saying, Now I have told you. Well, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, they left the tomb quickly. They were afraid, but they were also very happy, for they were filled with joy. They ran to tell Jesus' disciples about what had happened. When suddenly, Jesus himself appeared before the women. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, they took hold of Jesus' feet and they worshiped Jesus. Then Jesus said to Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, Greetings, do not be afraid. Go and tell my disciples that I am going to Galilee and that they will see me there. So Mary Magdalene, as well as Mary, the mother of James, they went quickly to tell Jesus' disciples the amazing news of how Jesus had come back to life. And this is the story from God's Word, the Bible. This is the Word of the Lord. Let us all say, Thanks be to God. Amen.